a walking tour of the Upper Village in Whistler. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions, and in this video, I'm gonna show you around this part of North America's largest ski town. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. And we're starting this walk from the stairs that you would take in from the Village Center or the day parking lots, right here at the sign that says, Welcome to Blackcomb Base, because as you saw, for the introductory shot, I was standing right there in front of the Black Comb Gondola that brings you up to Black Comb Mountain. Now over here on the right is Whistler Kids. So if you've got kids here in the summer, they can do things like mountain biking lessons here. If you're in the winter, then that's where they're gonna do like the bunny slope and learn how to ski or snowboard right here. Now, in addition to the Black Comb Gondola, there's also the magic chairlift down here. Uh, now, if you're doing the peak to peak express then this is one of the gondolas that'll take you up to the mountain that then you can take the peak to peak over to whistler mountain by the way i've got a whole video that talks more about the peak to peak uh, experience you'll find a link in the description below to my entire whistler playlist all right so over here on the left we have merlin's bar and grill i'm doing this video in october and so it is closed for the season. It's really no longer summer nor winter. And so if you're like, Chris, how come nobody is in the upper village of Whistler? Well, this is a quieter place than the center village, um, but also because we're sort of here in an off season. If you're buying lift tickets, you would buy them here in this day lodge. And then let's look over here on the right again. If you're here with kiddos, they've got some big like checker chess boards here. They've got hopscotch, which is sort of neat. And then if you're looking to see what is the chair lift status, they've got their my maps right there that'll tell you all about what is open and closed today. Okay, so this French looking building, this is the Fairmont uh, Chateau Whistler, one of the biggest hotels in Whistler, 519 hotel rooms where we're actually staying on this trip. Here is a little neat miniature golf course. What's actually cool about this miniature golf course is it's, it's real grass. Well, the, maybe the, the fairways aren't real grass, they're fake grass, but uh, there's grass around it. And this also starts some of the hiking trails. So there's plenty of free hikes that you can take up and down in the mountains, though they do point out to say, hey, watch out for, watch out for bears and please don't feed them. Here is Milestones Grill and Bar, a neat spot to have some drinks and look out at the lifts of Black Comb Mountain. One of the things I like about almost all these strolling areas in Whistler is they're well signed. So if you ever wonder where the heck you are, or where you need to go, you can just look at those signs and figure out where you're going. On Sundays, they do a farmer's market here on this stroll. Uh, in the summer, they do a farmer's market. We were here for that a couple days ago, uh, which we bought some fruit, uh, some peaches that were actually pretty sweet. Now here we've got uh, hotel, lodge called, it's a French name, Les Chamois, I think is what you would call it. Uh, there's a few shops in here that we will take a look at. This is a surf and ski town, so there are tons surf and ski town, snowboard and ski town, so there are tons of shops that are kind of these like, I'll call it warm clothing, ski and sunglass stores. That's what you'll find primarily in there. Now being here in summer, tons of people are here to mountain bike and like serious mountain biking, so you'll see like armor and helmets in these places. Okay, so here we've got a seating area for Handlebar, which serves New York pizza by the slice and beer four dollars for the slice of pizza there arbitus routes which is a like a bicycle rental tour company and then another kind of rmu bar restaurant pub which is what most of the things around here are grills and bars because you know having a bubbly drink after the slopes i think a lot of people like that this is the four seasons resort ski concierge one of the highest end hotels is the four seasons and it's a little ways from the mountain and so they've got their ski um, you can pick their skis up there if you're staying at that hotel okay the fairmont chateau whistler is right here and you can actually go in this way and check out the shop so we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna walk in here we'll walk through the fairmont Chateau Whistler shops and then we'll come out the other side and then we'll go over and check out the four seasons on the last point of this walk all right so this hotel 
over 500 rooms. We've really enjoyed our stay in here just because it's like one of those mega, very nice hotels or resorts. And again, being the off season, a lot of these stores are currently closed right now, but this is a nice place to have these shops and get away from the elements. This place, Portobello, if you can only eat lunch one place, eat here because they have amazing uh, porchetta sandwiches, which is like a roast pork. Go there and you can thank me later. All right, so this is the outdoor seating for Portobello. We're back on that same walkway that I started on. Oh, because we passed a couple shops. We passed Can Ski, a ski shop. There's a tattoo and barber shop. And over here is the Fitzsimmons Pub, um, where another place you can sit out here and eat and drink. The patio is open from 2 to 10 p.m. All right, I'm gonna pop over to this uh, where are we sign for a moment uh, so you can see just kind of where this village is in relation to the other villages we got some folks looking at the sign right here but the orange part this is the upper village and we started right here on the walk that was the gondola this is the fairmont and we're gonna check out the four seasons over this way this whole thing is the main village if you want to see a walking tour of that i have one of those that you can watch link in the description or also at the end of this video okay before i complete actually no we'll, we'll see it this way all right there's the blackcomb liquor store right here and um and i guess maybe because it's like covid time or things like that a lot of these stores have odd hours don't open on mondays or these sorts of things close early but yes whistler tends to close their stores early for what I consider early but then again I'm a I'm a city boy uh, all right I'm gonna turn the camera to the right so you can see the big outside of the Fairmont Chateau I think our room mm, seventh floor looks at that Canadian flag okay uh, there's the upper village market down here so if you're looking for groceries you will find them down here the two other big grocery stores are down in the main village I should say big there's one big grocery store down there and then there's another large convenience store perhaps which is kind of what the variety of this is you know anything that tells you on the sign that they sell bread milk produce snacks and that they have an ATM well it tells you it's not going to be super big uh, but they're open till 10 p.m. every day down here for your various sundries one of the things I love about Whistler though it has a feel of like Disneyland, really. I don't know, some people don't like that because they think Disneyland is too manufactured, but I just love how nice all the sidewalks are kept, how clean everything is, and uh, just well manicured, and nice to just walk around. Like, you can walk through these two buildings, you can walk through this pedestrian path, and they've built a lot of pedestrian paths specifically designed to walk through. Embark Preview Center, I'm gonna guess, that's a timeshare. You know, anything that says preview center is likely of the timeshare variety. Uh, but being here in October, you know, I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, but it's fairly unseasonably warm right about now. Uh, they already suggest switching over to winter tires for people driving in October. So typically it's actually a lot colder this time of year than it is right now. But the leaves you can see are already starting to change color. So we get that really famous red Canadian maple leaf uh, trees, which is neat. All right, so we can see right here now the sign that says Four Seasons because this is the Four Seasons Resort with the sign that says Four Seasons Whistler. And so it's got uh, two restaurants in there, Sidecut Steakhouse and Braidwood Tavern. And we'll just kind of walk down in here up into the front of the Four Seasons. But this is some nice public artwork right here. I think it's supposed to be something to look out at, like space or the solar systems. This is a really neat um, decorative arch along this bridge. And uh, by the way, also this is a Tuesday, so weekends are a whole lot busier. But even in October, that's the low season. You know, the Fairmont, where we're staying, they said they were actually completely sold out, if you can believe that. Um, and you should, because you have no reason not to believe it. But the Four Seasons is on both sides of this walking trail. 
and uh, if you check in, then they got a little bridge to take you between the two. Well, fellow explorers, if you want to know more about Whistler, then check out my whole playlist right here about things to know, the hotel reviews, and more. If you're going to Vancouver or you're going to Victoria, the capital of British Columbia, you might enjoy my videos on those that you'll find in my Vancouver series right here. Well, fellow explorers, as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'm going to see you in those videos.